This is Co.org, and I'm working on some of their CS Fundamental courses. Let's see what's going on here. The cloud is blocking the view. There could be a flower under this cloud. Oh. If there's a flower, the bee will need to collect the nectar once. If there is not a flower, the bee should do nothing. Take a good look at the code below. What do you think will happen after you click run? All right, so when I hit run, my bee is going to do something three times. Oh, it's going to move forward three times. Once, twice, three. Okay. And then what? And remember, this is a repeat block, right? So this pink mouth thing, anything inside of it will repeat this many times. Once, zoop, twice, three times. Once it's done running, though, once it repeats three times, it just drops below. And now the computer, we're asking the computer if at flower. So now I'm saying, hey, if you're at a flower, and I would be standing here, right? The bee moves forward three. So I'm asking the computer, if you're at a flower bee, do get nectar. So if you're at a flower, the computer can only say true, meaning, yep, you're standing on a flower, or false, nope, no flower. And so if it's true, what do I do? I get nectar. If it's false, this code in here doesn't run, and it just goes beneath. So false, no flower, I do nothing. True, oh, I need to run inside, zoop, and I'll get the nectar. So let's see, uh, bee's looking good, I think. The bee will move to the cloud and only, nope, try to get the nectar if they're, oh yeah, if there's a flower underneath, right? Because it's checking if there's a flower. Let's see. Boom. Awesome. We got it. Let's keep going. 